Hi guys, it's Angelia. How's everybody doing today? Well, today is Vlogmas Day 18. Um, I didn't do a video yesterday. I had to, uh, well, I basically took the day to try to do some ketchup, or my kitty cat, <laughs> on some uh, Christmas gifts. So I just took the day off. <laughs> but anyway, I'm going to get up here and share with you guys uh, what I have to show you. And I didn't get to do it outside today because it was really cold and and windy so it made it even worse and I thought well I'll just do it here by the tree and so anyway the first thing I want to share with you is my baby blanket that I'm doing and this is this is actually a Christmas blanket by Maria's Blue Crayon but I'm uh, kind of downsizing it to where it'll be like a baby uh, blanket size and so the last time I showed it it was this stocking and then we put the uh, Hobby Lobby I love this yarn and I think that's cranberry. And this is uh, by Rafa Musa Designs. And it is free on their blog. And so the square for today is an angel. I wanted to put me an angel on there. So I got up there and I looked for an angel applique. And I found one by Happy Berry. And it's called Crochet Angel Applique. And she does have a video tutorial on it if you'd like to make you one. So it was really easy to, to make. I've made several of them so far. And uh, so anyway, I just thought it was real sweet. And so I, I wanted to add that on to my baby blanket. And that will go here. And then on the other side will be the Red Heart Super Saver in the cherry red. And I think, let's see, that's one, two, three, four. I've got two more to go and that's it. And then I'll be putting the border around it. So, and anyway... I'll put a link down below in the description box if you'd like to go and check it out to make an angel applique if you're interested in one. And I can't remember what size of hook I used. Hmm, it might have been a four. I can't remember. <laughs> okay, now the next thing I wanna share with you is the scrappy blanket. <laughs> I'm anxious to see what colors he's got in the bag tonight. So let's get it pulled out here. Now, the last time I showed it, which was the other day, we have the yellow and it's that same color as this right here, that cranberry. Hobby Lobby, I love this yarn and that's Mainstay Yellow. And it is looking so pretty, guys. Look at that. I love this so much. And I'm using a six millimeter hook. And this is a... Um, video tutorial by Jada in stitches of how to make like a scrappy half double crochet blanket and so so much fun making this okay let's see here it is <laughs> couldn't find it there for a minute all right let's see we got a, a skein and it feels like a ball in there so let's see what colors he's got in here for us tonight <laughs> All right, the first one that's going to come out, I'm going to pull the ball out this time. And I hope it's not coming undone because last time I ended up pulling out both of them. So I'm going to take it out and not look yet and roll it up. There we are. All right. Ooh, green. And we haven't had green in a long time. It's been a while. So there's the green right there. That'll be perfect. I think it was right here the last time and it was that green with the glitter in it. <clears throat> So that'll be up against that. So that'll be pretty. All right. So let's see what other color we have in here to go with that. All right. White. So that is really going to make it pop right there. And it needed that too. Yeah, it hadn't had white in it and since all the way down here. So that's going to be really pretty up against the yellow and that cranberry. Very pretty. So I'll sit over there tonight while I watch some YouTube. And put that the three rows in. Okay, so I'm anxious about that. <laughs> All right, Let's see if I can find the end of that. <laughs> put it over there. Now the hook size that I'm using on my baby blanket is a five and a half, if I remember right. I need to start writing things down. I I used to, but I've kind of gotten I don't know a little lazy about it. I guess I, I guess what it is. I just go back to the video hoping I said something in it. <laughs> about what size I've done and I've done that so many times 
in something that I've made a while back. I'll think, well, I remember making it. Maybe I mentioned a hook, so I'd go back and look, and yeah. So anyway, this next one I'm going to share with you is the ornament of the day for the tree. And there's my little Grinch. I love that Grinch so much. <laughs> He's so cute, and the little snowman. And the kitty cats, they ended up knocking the snowman and a few of the others, but they didn't touch that Grinch. <laughs> Maybe they're scared of it. I don't know. But he's just so cute. I love that. <laughs> and there's, I'm wearing my Grinch shirt, but you never can see it because I sit with my phone's down so low or high up and I'm sitting lower. But anyway, the ornament for today is an elf. I made another elf. Now, it's also from that same designer where I made the um, snowman. <laughs> I made that snowman and, you know, I mentioned how it looked vintage to me. And so I wanted to make an elf and she has an elf, I believe a reindeer and Santa. And I can't remember. And maybe it was just this one. I don't know. But anyway, I'll put a link down below where you can go check it out. But I just think he's the cutest thing. <laughs> so anyway, and this is free and it's on a, a website called craft elf and it's called craft elf ornament <laughs> so i ended up using mainstay um well no i'm so used to saying mainstay all the time well i did for the black there he's small but i used uh hobby lobby i love this yarn in peach hobby lobby i love this yarn in that green with the sparkle in it and that might be mistletoe and then this is actually Red Heart Super Saver in that metallic red. And so, he's got his little bell up here. I think I hot, yeah, I hot glued that on. Ooh, and he looks like he's about ready to fall off. I might have to put another little dab of glue on there. <laughs> Ooh, I just love his little ears. And, and I just whip stitched him my nose and gave him some safety eyes. And there's a little bell. So, he's so cute. So, he'll be hanging up there in the tree uh, along with that other little curly one the snowman but anyway all right well that's the ornament i have to share with you and that's it right there so i'm gonna pop off of here and go sit down and work on my christmas blanket or yeah my both of them <laughs> so anyway i hope you guys all have a wonderful blessed night and i will see you tomorrow on vlogmas day 19 Hi guys, it's Angelia. How's everybody doing today? Well, today is Vlogmas Day. Uh, I think it's the 19th. Is it the 19th? Yep. Yep. He said yep. <laughs> it's the 19th. <laughs> I asked him earlier, but you know, and that wasn't even 10 minutes ago and I done forgot. So <laughs> anyhow, I um, hope you guys are all doing well. And I want to get up here and share with you guys what um, I've got. <laughs> now, I do have a project. Last night, I sat there and worked on a tree skirt for my little bitty tree that I have. And here it is. <laughs> I ended up uh, making it out of that Red Heart Super Saver and that great big uh, skein. And um, I think this is called Mistletoe. And I ended up using a 4.5 millimeter hook. Now, this is um, a video tutorial that I followed. And let's see. The name of it is... Crochet Basic Mini Christmas Skirt, and it's she's got a YouTube channel, and her name is Liza Walters, and she doesn't talk in it, but uh, she puts it across the screen where you can uh, read it, and so anyway, I think it turned out really cute, and uh, it's it looks really pretty up there underneath the tree, so now it's got a skirt. Okay, now. The next thing I'm going to share with you is my baby blanket. And I was looking at it a while ago, and I this is the last square to put in. So, the last two squares, that is. So, this is what we got here. I sat down last night and put the angel on. And the, uh, this one's Red Heart Super Saver, cherry red. And so, the next one that's going to go on is one that I just made up myself a chocolate chip cookie <laughs> gotta have a cookie <laughs> and so i just sat there in the chair and just if i remember right i just uh, started off with six in the magic ring and then just increase it all the way up to probably oh maybe 
36 and then I just went back in and did some whip stitch of the brown which it's at mainstay brown and this is I believe taupe Hobby Lobby I love this yarn and I used a I think I used a four point millimeter hook so that's gonna look really good up here as the next one and then this will be the last one to put on and this is that Hobby Lobby I love this yarn in the cranberry so that'll be the last one to put on and then I'll uh, add it to the blanket and then I'll go around with the border I haven't looked at her border yet on how she does it but I I really do want to put a uh, red and white one to make it look like a candy cane and so what I'll do I'll get it all finished up and then I'm hoping I'll have it done by uh, December the 31st before we start uh, January so I'm gonna try <laughs> so I won't be showing it until then <laughs> okay that's what we have there now it's time for the scrappy blanket now this is a pattern by Jada and Stitches she has a video tutorial on it and I'll put a link down below where you can go check out uh, this lady's uh, YouTube channel I just found her last night so I haven't had a chance to go and look at all her other videos but anyway let's scoot over a little bit <laughs> see got my visitors are here <laughs> oh yeah they're so cute <laughs> and got my Grinch kitties still haven't bothered it they have slapped this one around a little bit the little uh snowman but they didn't knock anything out of the tree last night so you probably will tonight <laughs> okay so the scrappy blanket um, I am having so much fun with this. Oh my goodness. Let me dig it out here. It's getting so much bigger now. I need to sew in my ends. I've been doing really good though about uh, staying on top of that. Okay, so last night I put the green and I put the white in. And I think it looks really pretty and it made it pop. And so that's what we got so far okay and I think what I'm gonna do after um, since I won't have the scrappy one to, to do anymore I'll uh, dig out my other two scrappy ones that I've held two strands together and uh, show you what they look like one of them was my very first one and it's it, it was a same pattern but it was when I was first learning how to crochet and I it wasn't straight on the edges <laughs> it was pretty crooked I'll show you <laughs> But that's okay. It's still loved. I love that blanket. It was my very first one. And then I've got another one that I held two strands together and I used white as the main one through the whole thing and it was really pretty that way. So, okay. So that's what we have there. Now let's see what colors he has put in this bag. And I, I'm using a six millimeter hook. Okay. We got, let me see. A ball in a skein. So let's see what we got. Oh, that's so pretty. And this, I believe, is discontinued. It's a mainstay and it's teal. So it's so pretty. And that's going to look really pretty up against that green like that. Very pretty. All right, now let's see what other color he's got in here for us. Uh, I've been so busy today. I've been, I've been straightening up my craft room. It was pretty bad. So all day long, I've been straightening up things, all my yarn, everything. <laughs> I've been in the mood to want to sew too. I've been kind of itching to get into doing some of that. So it's nice to have something that you can, you know, break it up and do a little here and then go back and you know, just do have a variety of, of everything. So, but anyway, back to the ball here. <laughs> There you go. That's going to be pretty. And that is Mainstay Taupe. So that's going to look really, really pretty with that one up against that green. All right. So I'll sit over there tonight while I watch YouTube and put that little three rows in. So that's going to look really pretty. All right. I guess I'm going to hop off here. I haven't ate yet. I just got out of the shower and thought I'd do my video real quick. And it was uh, pretty cold again today I didn't really want to go out there and kind of start freezing about halfway but it's supposed to be can you believe it in 
I think like 68 Christmas Eve. It don't even seem like Christmas. Um, I can remember days a long time ago when I was a kid of having uh, some white Christmases, and that was that was a lot of fun. Anyway, maybe one of these days we'll have another white Christmas, but we haven't had one in a very long time here where I'm at in Arkansas. So, all right. Well, I guess I'm going to hop off of here, and I hope you guys all have a wonderful, blessed night, and I will see you tomorrow. I think it's Vlogmas Day 20, and I can't. I'd ask him, but he's listening to some music, so he's got his headphones on. <laughs> I done forgot. But anyway, I hope you guys all have a wonderful, blessed night. I was getting ahead of myself. I almost forgot. It's I need to share the ornament of the day. <laughs> I guess because I'm hungry. I'm, I'm anxious to get over there and sit down and eat. <laughs> but anyway, the ornament of the day. Now, this is one I followed. Okay, the elf that I showed yesterday is by craft elf and i decided i wanted to do another one but i wanted to do it like a gingerbread <laughs> that's what i did oh that's her i started to say now i know i didn't give her three legs <laughs> i was holding her scarf but anyway i just followed that pattern and made a basically for the head and for the arms and the legs and then the rest of it i just whipped it up myself and I wanted to make a gingerbread one and I told my hubby it kind of looks like an octopus though in a way <laughs> but anyway I ended up doing it out of that uh all that taupe that I'm fixing to put in the scrap blanket mainstay and then that's that red heart super saver red with the glitter and then this is that mainstay purple it might be called lilac lilac with the glitter in it and then some pink and then it's a little smile, and I whip stitched some eyes in there. And I just think she's so cute. I had to have me a gingerbread one. And so I also, um, yeah, I hot glued a couple of buttons on there. So anyway, I think she's so cute. And you could do the same thing. Just follow that elf one and just, you know, doll her up there. So anyway, that's the ornament for today. And so I'll hang it up probably getting a little pool down here but I can still I can still put her right there <laughs> all right well I'm getting off here for real this time and I hope you guys all have a wonderful blessed night and I'll see you tomorrow I'm guessing on vlogmas day 20 <laughs>